I am Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to initialize your disk drives. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead and start computer management. Now, one of the easier ways to get to computer management is to hit the Windows key on your keyboard, go into Administrative Tools, and then you can go right into Computer Management. Now, once you're in Computer Management, there's all kinds of different tools that you can use. You can actually schedule tasks inside Computer Management. You can look at the Event Viewer. You can actually look at your shared folders. Now, one very interesting thing that you can do here is you can also look at your sessions and see who's currently logged on to your server. If you notice here, this is a virtualized server, so I don't have anybody logged on. But as an IT director, I look at this all the time to see who's currently on my server and what they currently have open. You can actually check the performance of the system. You can go into Device Manager and see if you have any problems. And then you can actually go into Disk Management. And once we're in Disk Management, we can go ahead and we can actually see our disk drive. Now this virtualized drive has a 60 gigabyte virtual hard drive set up. If you set up a new disk, what you'd want to do is right click on it. And at that point, you can initialize the disk. Uh, at that point, you can, once the disk is initialized, you can convert the disk. You can set up software based RAID. It's not hardware based, but software based. You can actually go into the properties and actually check the properties of the actual drive. Computer management with disk management allows you to go in and work on your hard drives. I can click on the C drive, right click on it. I can actually explore the drive, look at all the different things on there. I can mark it as active. I can change the drive letter. I can format it if I want and wipe everything off of it. Hopefully you wouldn't do that to your C drive, especially if it's your boot and system partitions. I can actually shrink the volume. This is actually very handy. You can actually shrink or extend the volume. Now, if you noticed, Extend is actually grayed out because I don't have any other hard drives in here. So it, it automatically knows that. I can also go into Properties, and I can actually grab the local properties for the C drive. And in here, you can set up your quotas. You can look at Sharing, Security, Shadow Copies. Computer Management gives you the ability to go in and actually not only look at your disks, but also look at a lot of different tasks that are running on the server. In this video, I showed you a little bit about computer management, and I showed you how you go in and configure some of your disk drives.